and welcome to APE headquarters in Berlin, Germany. My name is Rita, and I'd like to introduce you to an exciting new addition to our autocorrelator family, the PulseLink USB autocorrelator. Together with our Pulse Check optical unit, PulseLink not only improves the signal quality, but lets you access a wealth of additional measurement information and detail. Some of the key advantages are greater precision and a higher dynamic range due to the increased resolution of delay and intensity. Auto face matching and estimation of the central wavelength. Auto trigger that detects a valid trigger signal and measures the trigger frequency. High speed real time measurement thanks to a USB interface. And easy data storage and export. And using PulseLink couldn't be easier. For the first time, you have full control right from your PC, so there is no need to use a controller unit. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how easy it is to use our software. If you haven't installed it on your PC yet, take a moment to do it now. Just load the CD, start the setup routine, and follow the on-screen steps. Installation only takes a couple of minutes. Next, let's get your Pulse Link connected. First, Plug the optic connector into pulse link with the other side running to pulse check. Now connect the power cable. Finally, plug in the USB cable and attach the other end to your PC's USB port. And that's it. From this point on, our software will do all the work. After you switch on pulse link, go to your PC and click on the pulse link icon in the start menu. Your software will automatically connect to pulse link on startup and you should see a confirmation message on screen. Press start, then check to see if you have any kind of signal. If there's no signal at all, make sure you've aligned the incoming laser with pulse check. For help with this, refer to our welcome to pulse check film. Once you've completed alignment, the next step is to find and optimize the signal by tuning the crystal. Pulse link makes this simple. Press the calc button and a dialog box will appear. First, select your installed crystal type. If you're not sure of the type, remove the crystal from pulse check to read the label. After you've chosen your crystal type, enter the actual laser wavelength. Then press OK. Pulse link will automatically tune the crystal to the calculated position. You should now have an autocorrelation signal on your PC screen. If the signal isn't fully optimized, you can tune it manually. If the signal is still weak, don't worry. PulseLink makes it easy to amplify the signal at the touch of a button. Just use the arrow buttons to manually adjust the gain in large steps, then in smaller ones. Now you should have a strong signal. At this point, the pulse duration should be shown on your PC. If the signal is still weak, you may also need to optimize the settings on your optics unit. If the pulse duration is in red, the calculation isn't reliable. An info string in the lower left corner will help you to identify the issue. In this example, the scan range is too large for the actual pulse duration. To correct it, adapt the scan range until the pulse trace fits in the time scale. When you align the incoming beam with pulse check, you use collinear mode to overlap the output beams so you only needed to focus one beam in the crosshair. But this produces a lot of interference. To change to non-collinear mode, you simply need to turn a single micrometer screw on pulse check. If you still have a noisy pulse trace, PulseLink has a fast way to improve it. It's called a low-pass filter. To use a low-pass filter, double-click on the main window to open the settings menu. Choose View, then check the filter ACF box. The pulse trace should now become smooth. And that's it. Your pulse link is ready for use. Keep in mind, there are also custom settings that provide more information about the measured pulse. Before I go, one setting I'd like to show you is trigger mode. It's a special feature for measuring low repetition lasers. To switch to trigger mode, connect the cable to the trigger input jack Connect the other end to your laser system. Pulse link will automatically detect the trigger signal and show a dialog box to confirm that you wish to use trigger mode. 
So there you go. I hope you found this introduction helpful. If you have any questions, check our online support film library or visit our website to contact us. The APE support team is always ready to assist you.